Good evening and welcome to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. I am Leadership Specialist, Wealth Mentor, author of a few books. That's right, Lakeisha McKnight. Glad to be here with you all who are on Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and a few other podcast platforms out there. Listen, we're live right now on these platforms and we're about to go live on Facebook via video. So please stand by. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everyone, to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. This is leadership specialist, wealth mentor, author of a few books, and most importantly, your friend, Lakeisha McKnight. And I'm excited to be here with all of you on tonight, on this beautiful Sunday, October the 4th of 2020. How's everybody doing? How was your weekend? As if, of course, I did not speak with you on last night. (laughs) But I'm hoping and praying that you've enjoyed this amazing, amazing Sunday. I know that I have, and just really being laser focused, as laser focused as possible, as we're heading into this amazing week. It's going to be an epic week. I'm just expecting greater. It's all about mindset. And I just, I'm just glad to have each and every one of you here because here is the deal. The this show here. We try, we, we strive to go live every single night and we strive to go live every single night, somewhere between seven and seven thirty PM Eastern standard time. And I just want to say thank you for those of you who are the faithful viewers of this show. Thank you so very much for every single one of you who tunes in because there could be a wide variety of things that grabs your attention and you could divert your attention to other things, but you've decided to plug into the show. Remember, the purpose of Leadership TKO Live Night Show is to empower leaders like yourself with the ability to win from the inside out, growing your influence, your impact, and your income. That is what we intend to do a part of this show. And there are many, many different ways by which you can engage and participate. And I often like to remind you of those options. So option number one, feel free to like or love the stream as you're tuning in. And even as something resonates with you as you're live here with me on Facebook, throw those hearts out there. Also, secondly, there's the comments feature. So as we're live, you can share your thoughts with one another. You can engage with me. Now I'll get back to your your thoughts, possibly after the live version is over, but you can share your thoughts. You can ask your questions below. And then lastly, we do have the share feature. So you can share this out to those you care about on your timelines, groups, fan pages, wherever you feel led to sharing it. And then also on Facebook, you had that advantage of doing a watch party as well. So go ahead, launch up, get those watch parties started so that we can help build leaders amongst those who are connected to us and following us. Now, I don't like to use the word followers, but we're associated, we're connected in that way. So as I've already inspired, encouraged you all to really engage, I'm going to engage myself. That's right. I'm going to engage. I'm going to see who all is out there, how many of you are plugged in already from the onset. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to like the video. And I'm going to say, of course, hello, good evening to Miss Patricia Goodman. Hi, Miss Patricia. Hello, Miss Carolyn Stevens. I see you tuning in as well. Good evening to you. Thank you so much for plugging in uh, to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. And listen, for those of you who are new to the show, you can always visit our website to learn more about what we do, our mission, and what we're intending to to really accomplish with this show. So you can visit www.leadershiptko.com for more information. And once again, I'm extremely excited to be here. And so look, I'm going to go ahead and as I encourage you to share the stream, I'm going to go ahead and share the stream as well. I have a couple of business partners who are tuning in. And so uh, this group that I'm referring to is the winner's circle. So I'm going to share it with them and encourage them to plug in. And for all of my wealth building family members out there, you know who you are. Thank you so very much for plugging into the show. We appreciate your, your support and your viewership. Okay. And so feel free to also share this out. So I've shared it, of course, to a few of my business colleagues in that chat. I'm also going to share it on my fan page. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm verbalizing this because I'm doing this real time. And I don't want you guys sitting around waiting for me to finish doing what I'm doing. 
but definitely go ahead and share this out. If you have not shared it, go ahead and share it onto your timeline. Strike up a watch party. That's what we do to get the message out. All right, so I'm also going to share it to possibly two or three groups. So let's go ahead and get that done. So that's one group. Let's share it to yet another group. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Let's see, which one am I going to share it to? Okay, here we go. And then I'm also going to share it amongst some moms. I have some some um, CEO mothers out there, and they're just doing the thing. They're doing their thing, and I want to make sure I connect with them as well. Perfect. So listen, how many of you are expecting, like my brother Edward Surratt, he's good for this because this is his brand. How many of you are expecting greater on this week? Go ahead and type it in the comment section. I expect greater. You see, it starts here. You got to have the right mindset. Now, if you're noticing that you're not having a positive mindset, what are you plugging into? Okay, what are you allowing to enter your mind? What are you, what are you meditating on? Who are you connecting to that's preventing you from being able to expect some amazing things to happen in your life, your business, and those connected to you? You have to figure out what you're plugging into and what you're not plugging into. That's going to impact your mindset. And then also your attitude, which is really leading me into talking about our appetizer tonight. Many of you, you probably noticed that we've been diving into Dr. John Maxwell's book here, Attitude 101, because this really makes a difference. And you can see and you can actually sense a person's attitude by the words they choose to speak. You can sense it. You can sense it by the things that they do, uh, their nonverbal communication as well as, as well as their verbal communication. So again, attitude 101 is key. And so we're going to get a nugget or two from this book on today, on tonight, during this appetizer portion, and then we're going to dive into the main meal. So let's go ahead and dive in. He's been talking about a few axioms. Now, these axioms you know, are really about attitude and how to help you better understand how attitude impacts your life. And so he, he brings up these axioms, these concepts to help you bring clarity or get clarity about attitude and its impact. And so the third axiom that Dr. John Maxwell mentions in this book, he says this, often our attitude is the only difference between success and failure. The difference between success and failure most times is your attitude. So how is your attitude at the very start of the day? How is your attitude towards the conclusion of the day or throughout the duration of the day when the unexpected happens, when things are not quite going your way? How is your attitude? Is it one that's positive, one that builds up, one that's open to abundance and blessing? Or is it negative? Okay, just speaking of lack, you know, you have to really check your attitude. So do a check on it because it's very, very, very important. Okay, very important that you check your attitude. And I love the things that he talks about in this portion. He says, certainly aptitude or how high you can go, how far you're going to go in life or business is important to our success in life. Yet success or failure in, an, in any undertaking is caused more by mental attitude than mere by just mental capacities, okay? It's not about how much you know so much. It's more so about your mental attitude. That is what he's trying to say there. So that is the third axiom. So it really makes the difference between success and failure, your attitude. Also, he says for axiom number four, he says, our attitude at the beginning of a task will affect its outcome more than anything else. Your attitude at the very beginning. So before you even, there are some people who, man, they they cause themselves to fail before they even get started. You didn't even start the business and you're already thinking like, man, this ain't gonna work for me. That is not the right attitude to have before you get started with a venture, before you get started with the task, Okay. And oftentimes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the truth, this is just my belief, because I always believe that there's a dark you know, way of thinking about things, and there's a greater, lighter, more joyful way of thinking about things. And if you allow those thoughts into your mind you know, to dominate, you're going to continue on that path. 
Like this is going to be a crazy, amazing week. I'm telling you right now, do you believe it? What is your attitude? What is your mental attitude about that thought, about that concept? That this week is going to be one of the best weeks that you've had in business. Like you're going to be able to attract some of the most powerful goal getters, influencers in your business. But here's what I also know that the attitude becomes real. It becomes personal and you own it when you become it. So you have to become that influencer. You have to become that person that you're looking to attract to a degree. It doesn't have to be that you know everything because you want to attract people who know more than you do. That's really the key, especially for those of you who are entrepreneurs. You don't have to be the one to know it all. But as far as your, your go-getter attitude and that, that drive, you definitely want to attract those individuals. So you have to have that drive. You have to have that attitude in order to be able to attract those individuals into your business. Now, if it's wavering to and fro here and there, guess what? You're going to attract those individuals who are wavering to and fro. They're going to get in and it's almost as if they're going to be doing double dutch with you. I'm in, I'm out. I'm in, I'm out. I'm in, I'm out. Do you want in and out <laughs> type of individuals that come into you know, your business? Or do you want those people who are going to be grounded? They're going to be sure. They're going to be planted. And you don't have to wonder or question whether they're going to be in it to win it or whether they're going to be hopping from business to business. I'm just being honest with you. Okay? So again, look at your attitude because you're going to attract those same individuals in your life or in your business that has that same attitude. Okay. And be sure to have a positive attitude before you even get started with it. Before this day, even this, this, you know, tomorrow even comes about, have a positive attitude about it. Now we can't guarantee that we're going to see it. Can we just be honest with that? But you can have a positive attitude about it, expecting and moving by faith that tomorrow is going to be even better than it was today. So that's axiom number four and axiom number five. This is the final axiom I'm going to talk about tonight. He says, our attitude can turn our problems into blessings. Man, oh my gosh. See, when confronted with a difficult situation, Dr. Maxwell says this, a person with an outstanding attitude makes the best of it while he gets the worst of it. Do you hear that? You, it's all about attitude. Even though you're going through something, the person with the positive attitude, man, they they make the best of it, even though they're getting the worst of it, meaning they're going through that tough time in their life, but they're making the best of it. They're learning the lessons. They're not allowing the situations to have them. They're dominating the situation. Oh, I feel like throwing this book. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I got myself fired up. Woo! Dominate. Dominate the situation. What is What situation are you going through right now? Don't let it dominate you. Yeah, you might not have every dollar amount that you, that you desire to have, but guess what? You have the means by which to get it. You have to have that attitude, that mindset that's going to be ready to receive it. If you have the wrong attitude, the wrong mindset, you're not going to be able to sustain it or keep it. Whew, my goodness, I'm about to run. I'm about to run getting myself fired up. Somebody help me. <laughs> Somebody help me because this, man, this week is going to be absolutely remarkable. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. You got to believe it and you got to know it for yourself. It's going to be amazing, man. Influencers are going to come your way. Great individuals who are like-minded can come your way if you become that person with the right attitude. And that's what Dr. Maxwell is talking about in that chapter with those axioms. He's talking about attitude. It makes a difference. It really, really does. I know some people say, well, Keisha, do you have, you know, does your attitude ever get down? It really depends on the attitude, the environment. If I'm around individuals that's just talking about lack it just zaps every piece of energy out of me. And if you're not careful, if I'm not careful to get myself out of the environment, you can find yourself just, you know, tending to kind of waver towards the other spectrum to talk about things that you really need to get or that's not necessarily present. And that's not what we should be focusing on. We should be grateful for where we are, grateful for what we do have, 
and realizing also that greater is coming, then greater is coming. It may, you have everything that you need right now. Now, whether you believe that or not, okay, but you have what you need. You really do. But it's all about attitudes. It's all about what, who you connect with, who you affiliate with. You, I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, now hopefully you all got that advertiser. If you believe that you're, you know, you're going to change your attitude, you're going to work on your attitude to make it more positive, then affirm that in the comment section. I have a positive attitude. I have a positive mental attitude. Go ahead and affirm that for yourself. And if you need to affirm that throughout the course of the rest of this evening and going into tomorrow, do that. Because you want to think positive because you're going to attract those same individuals into your life. All right? Now, let's shift gears a bit. Did you enjoy the appetizer? I pray that you did because we're about to dive into the main meal. Now, the main meal is coming from this great man right here, Robert Kiyosaki. He wrote this book, Business of the, the 21st Century. I enjoy this book. I've read it about two or three times, listened to the audiobook at least one time. And I'm telling you, the concepts in this book will never, never end as far as, you know, being invalid. It's so good. Now, last night we spoke about, um, we spoke about a few things that you don't necessarily need to do to be successful in this industry. And so tonight, what I'm going to talk about are the things you wouldn't want to do, you need to do to be successful in this network marketing profession. So when I say industry, I'm talking about network marketing. Now to set the record straight, I am not, I don't have a network marketing opportunity. What I do is not a network marketing opportunity. It's e-commerce. And I will give you an idea of what that is towards the end. And also what to expect this week, because I'm going to be sharing a bit about it. And I have a few colleagues who are going to give you even more information if you're willing to plug in. All right. So let's dive into this main meal. So the main meal, as I shared, what it takes to be successful in network marketing is this. He says this, it takes being honest with yourself, being honest with yourself. He says, building a B or a business quadrant type of business where people work with you or they work for you, it's not an easy task. You need to ask yourself, do I have what it takes? Am I willing to go beyond my comfort zone? Am I willing to be led as well as to learn to lead? Is there a rich person inside of me ready to come out? If the answer is yes, then start looking for a network marketing business that has a great training program. Okay. Great training program. And you, man, I'm telling you, and that's what I enjoy about wealth builders worldwide. And then also about the e-commerce company that I'm connected to. I got to interject here and talk about the, the company that I'm plugged into. And the reason why is just as I, just as Robert Kiyosaki says, the program, the company you get plugged into needs to have a great training program. Okay. So the company I'm plugged into, right? It offers an academy. One of the products is an academy. And so with the academy, what you get access to is training. And you get trained on a variety of topics like how to develop relationships with others, how to go about sharing your opportunity, how to go about prospecting and following up, how to leverage social media so that you can build your business. So many great facets. Listen, and then the, the team that I'm connected to that, that we're growing, right? We have what we call WBW University, Wealth Builders Worldwide University. And all we simply do is we simply point people in the direction of that training center, I call it. It's a website where you can get access to trainings, replays, and all these things. We follow the same system. We plug in to the same system. And this earring does not want to cooperate tonight. <laughs> okay. But we plug into the same system. And that's what I enjoy about Wealth Builders Worldwide. It's a university. It's a training center. All right. And so we do have a great training program. Here's another point that Robert Kiyosaki says that helps you to be successful in this industry. He says, it takes the right attitude. How many times are we going to talk about attitude tonight? <laughs> I mean, if I'm not, if I'm not drilling it in really good right now, 
Like, you, you ought to get this and get it good, okay? Because he says, for me, becoming an entrepreneur is an ongoing process, one that I am still involved in, okay? And one thing that he says here, oh, man, this is really good. You can always quit. Why start now? You can always quit. Why start now? He says, there, there were many phone calls that I had to handle that provided me with more than enough reasons to quit. Yet after hanging up the phone, I would glance at the words of wisdom from the fortune cookie and say to myself, as much as I want to quit, I won't quit today. I'll quit tomorrow. The good thing is tomorrow never came. Okay. Tomorrow never came. So it takes the right attitude guys. It really, really does. Okay. Now here's the point that he makes towards the end of this section. He says, if you like somebody telling you how much you can make and when you should arrive and leave work, then a network marketing business is not for you. But if you don't like people telling you when you can go take a lunch break, when you can go to the bathroom, when you can go on vacation, when you can take a little rest break because you're not quite feeling well. If you enjoy that, then stay with your job, stay with your J-O-B. But if you don't like that, then you may want to consider starting a business and more, more or most importantly, consider network marketing. Here's another point that will help you be successful in the network marketing profession, and that is it takes real growth. I'm going to let that one sink in for a moment. It takes real growth. Growth. Absolutely. Look, a network marketing business can be a B quadrant business, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it will. Pause. That's up to you, he says. He says it can be a B quadrant business if you want it to, but that's up to you. Now, what does he mean? He says network marketing is the perfect vehicle for people who want to enter the world of the B quadrant or the business quadrant. While your income potential in the E employee and S self-employed quadrants is typically limited to how much you as an individual can produce, you as an individual can produce. That's what the E and the S quadrant is based off of. He says in network marketing, you can earn as much as your network generates. That means once you build a very large network, you can earn a massive amount of money. Absolutely. For example, I have business partners in Australia. I have business partners in Asia. I have business partners in other countries around the world, and they're working it. They're sharing the information while I'm here in Virginia within, within the United States of America. The network is growing and expanding, okay? And so you, it's based on how big your network becomes. But you need, just like my mentor, Mr. Ty Best says, you need to give yourself time to succeed. And notice that everyone's time frame is going to be different. Do not allow the enemy to try to dupe you in thinking, oh, it's not working because you're looking at the the rate of success of someone else. Stay in your lane and be as focused as possible. Know that what God has for you is for you. Before you know it, in a blink of an eye, things can be totally different. Remember, if you are a spirit-led individual, it will happen in due season if you faint not. If you faint not, okay? So it's going to take real growth. It's going to be uncomfortable and you're going to want to throw on the towel. But at that moment, you have to know that you have to keep going. Okay. Here's another point he mentions about being successful in this industry. He says this, it takes time. Mm -hmm. Just like with the traditional business, you can't expect success to be like boom overnight. It's the same, it's the very same, or even more so with network marketing. He says, if you have the idea that you can start a network marketing business and expect to start making money right away, then you're still thinking like someone who lives in the E and the S quadrant. In fact, it is people in the E and the S quadrants 
who are most often sucked into the get rich quick schemes and the scams of life. All right. So don't expect for it to happen overnight. It takes time to truly build a strong, large network. Okay. It really does take time. All right. And of course, he also highlights something very, very, very important. He says this, you really need to think about and consider the five-year plan. I said, oh man, okay, this five-year plan, what is he talking about? When I saw this, I was like, okay, I got to break this down, okay? The five-year plan. Here's what he mentioned. He mentions this. He says, think about this, 10,000 hours, okay? Think about this number of 10,000 hours. Do the math. If you work eight hours a day, five days a week, you hit the 10,000 hour mark, right? after five years of full-time effort. So if you were to do the math, again, it's all about time, okay? And this is why he says he uses this, that he uses this five-year plan, okay? He gave himself five years to learn the process. Most people invest once, lose a few dollars, and then quit. They quit after their first mistake, which is why they fail to learn. But losing is part of the process of winning. It on, it's only losers who think that winners never lose, who think that mistakes must be avoided at all costs. You see, it's only the school system and really the world system out there that teaches you not to value mistakes. We all make mistakes. We've all made mistakes and we're gonna make more. That's the truth of the matter. We're going to make more mistakes but learn the lessons. Okay. Learn the lessons. Don't be intentional and say, I'm gonna go out and make a mistake today. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Okay. But you want to learn the lessons when you do make mistakes, do it better. And then try again and again and again and again and again. Okay. What are we going to do about this earring right here? What are we going to do? You guys give me a solution. <laughs> Take it out. <laughs> but listen, you know, I'm hoping that you've enjoyed this main meal tonight, talking about how to succeed in the network marketing space. I know that I have. And if you're curious and trying to figure out, well, Lakeisha, are you a network marketer? I am. Do you have a network marketing opportunity? I don't. I like to build networks. I like to build a business and build a network by sharing information. Okay, people who want to become a better version of themselves. They want to understand technology better. They want to understand how to build their businesses, how to build themselves to be a better leader. We have a course for that. And when I say we, the company that I'm plugged into, we have a course for that. If you want to learn about cryptocurrency, you want to understand more about how to trade cryptocurrency and how to potentially have bots who would be sort of like, you know, your extra hands working on your behalf, trading for you then that's what we have. We have a Traders Academy and we enjoy this academy. You can get your hands on it. But most importantly, we have foundational money. We have access to money whereby it's divine, okay? It's, it's, it's something connected to the creator. The creator created it, all right? And so you can redeem the time that you've lost. Many of you probably lost, man, countless numbers of years in your life thinking that you were, you know, you had this perfect plan and that you were on the way to achieving the American dream of having this great life within this system of work, 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 work for 40 years and then possibly retire. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Number one, if you're a spirit led individual, retirement is not in the Bible. It's not biblical retirement. Okay. You have a purpose you have an assignment. Now, do you ever stop working your assignment? No. <laughs> until you're, until the last breath that you breathe has been taken. Okay. That's when you stop doing it. But when you're in your assignment, that divine calling given to you by the most high, you want to continue in that because it's a part of you. And this right here, what I'm doing with you right now is a part of what it is that I'm called to do. And if you're looking for a coach, if you're looking for a mentor, someone to help you, you know, get to achieving your goals, if your goal is to be financially free, if your goal is to become a better version of yourself and grow 
as a leader. If your goal, okay, perhaps you want to make an extra couple hundred dollars a month or better yet, you want to, maybe you have a goal of having five figure months or six figure months. If that is your goal with the system that I have access to, that's possible. We have six figure earners. We have seven figure earners. We have probably even beyond that. Okay. And so it's all a matter of you plugging into a system that will help you to accomplish it and having leaders who will support you and will not give up on you so that you can accomplish your goal as you have the right attitude and engage in the right actions. Okay. And so we have training available for you. And as a matter of fact, there's training tonight at nine o'clock PM Eastern standard time. Okay, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there is training for those who are already connected to the system or the company that I'm connected to. But for those of you, if you're trying to figure out more information about this business that I, that I have and that you can actually access for free, I encourage you to inbox me, to inbox the person that shared this with you so we can get you some information. And listen, it's free. There's no risk. You get more you can't lose anything. Okay. There's nothing to lose with this. It's almost like how many of you have an Amazon account? Now, if you registered with Amazon, did you lose anything? No. If anything, you got access to viewing the products that Amazon has and you're able to exchange your cash for products that they have on their site, their site. Well, the same thing happens when you plug into the company that I have you register for a free for free. You get a free wealth building account. The difference is here's the difference between Amazon and what we do. Our product is money. Our product is self development, personal development content. Our product is a way by which you can trade and actually make money without having to necessarily recruit or bring someone aboard or network and build a network. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Okay, everything we do is optional. Just like Amazon, you have an option of buying products. Well, you have an option to choose whatever you want within this system that I'm plugged into. So get back with us. We'll give you more information for those of you who are interested and want to learn more. I'm excited because guess what? This week, I have colleagues. They're going to be doing presentations twice a day, Monday through Saturdays, 12 o'clock p.m. and 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here is something else. I'm going to be doing some highlight moments of this system. I'm not doing a full presentation, but highlight moments on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's right. Write it down, document it. Tuesdays and Thursdays, highlight moments. And that's going to be just highlighting elements involving the system. And then also perhaps on that Thursday, highlighting elements regarding the compensation plan and how you can get paid. So we want to keep it lively. We want to keep it interesting and show you how you can get the results that you're looking to achieve. So make sure you plug in. Okay. The information is going to be shared online, how you can access, of course, the information I'll share on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But for those of you who want to tune in to the 12 o'clock and nine o'clock full presentations, all you need is goldrocks.info. Make sure you write that down. Goldrocks.info. It is Zoom. All right. It is Zoom. And you will need the password. So you will need to inbox me or the person that shared this stream with you so you can get the password and join us on the Zoom platform. Now, speaking of Zoom, before I do exit tonight, um, Yes, I'm on Zoom right now. Many of you probably recognize that. And so this is going to be our plan B. <laughs> you always got to have a backup when it comes to technology. This will be the plan B. We're going to definitely be utilizing another platform starting tomorrow. So stay tuned, okay? We might get on a little slow, but we're going to be just making sure that all is well with the new platform we're going to be leveraging. So I appreciate you all. Thank you so very much for tuning in on tonight. It's been an honor and a privilege. And until the next time that you and I come together again, I do encourage you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. Good night, everyone, and God bless.